welcome to the e international conferences i am zakir khan working as assistant professor in department of physics and electronics government reserve institute of science and humanity amravati i am here in front of you with the topic challenges of covid-19 in india and worldwide friends we are suffering from a pandemic novel coronavirus covid-19 it started from china and now the whole world is under its influence it is really very very dangerous situation for us we are not in our natural routine all the life is disturbed and now it is the time to overcome with this situation there are lot of challenges with us not only with our family our society our country but for the whole mankind so especially talking about the higher education we have to learn so many thing with this covid 19 what is the traditional way in which we are learning and having the learning and teaching process now we have to do some some modification in this process what the infrastructure today we have we have to modify we have to change the infrastructure now what the syllabus we have we have to put various important thing in this our syllabus so we have to discuss one by one first of all you are very important i am important for my family you are important for your family you are the backbone of your family so first of all stand for your family for that you should be very strong enough so that you can support your family you should be healthy by your physics but also not only by your physics but also mentally you should be very prepared to do something for your family secondly we have to take care of our society now it is very essential to do something for your society for our society we have food for our family what about the others so this is the question what can we do for our family what can we do for our society so we have to think about it so as far as the higher education is concerned we are the huge democracy after china and us we are the th- third in the world with the large number of students for higher education and it made me proud to say that we are the third in the world with the student in higher education so our responsibility is again the more i don't know when this pandemic is going to be finished covid 19 may be finished but maybe there again david 20 that will be here to welcome you so in all situation we should be ready this covid 19 is going to teach us so many thing to change ourselves to be strong enough to wonder in the society so let's start with the student you me and nothing but the student we have to learn so many thing from our such type of situation which are arises with us 
so in higher education huge number of student large number of students are there when their session started they start to take admission in various institute various colleges so in last decade the admission process is going to be changed so many people are using online admissions it is a very good things now each and every institute and college should follow this path there should not be a large number of student at the time of admission each and every one should follow the process of online admission system centralized online admission system i am happy to say that in our country in our in india in our state in our districts we are adopting this process of online admission besides this we also take care that whenever you have to pay student have to pay the fee that also should be online and this practice is going to be adopted by so many institution i am again very proud that my institution have started practicing both things online admission as well as online fee collection second thing the second big challenge is about the infrastructure we have to discuss on the infrastructure also what the infra infra infrastructure we have today what the infrastructure various colleges in india classrooms are not sufficient administrative building building is not sufficient so many colleges don't have the playground the garden the libraries and so on so after this covid 19 we should take care of the infrastructure in a classroom large number of students are there how you can main, maintain the hygiene how you can maintain the physical distance how one can take the care of sanitizing the class so now we should take care of this the classroom should be big the sitting arrangement is in such a way that we can maintain the physical distance in order to avoid the situation like this coronavirus uh, covid 19 there should be arrangement for sanitizing in the class outside the class and teacher should be take care of this specially because we have the more responsibility on us as far as the administration of any institute and college is concerned we should adopt a policy not to use a single piece of paper so that we can avoid we can avoid such type of viruses to be entered and wondered here and there by using such type of pages there are so many courses we have seen and we come to know that without taking use of a piece of a paper we can arrange such type of arrangement everywhere again the examination system we can adopt a different type of examination system online examination system for our student for this the institute the university the university grant commission should think upon it how we have to modify our system our traditional system of examination if we compare the examination system in india and abroad we come to know that in foreign countries there are so many courses degree courses certificate courses in which they 
never go give the certificate to the students certificates are not provided to the students degrees are not given to the students vocational trainings are given to the students so that they can stand up on their feet they can do better for their self for themselves for their family and here we give so many certificates so many degrees bachelor degree master degree mphil degree phd degree and most of them are useless as far as the outcome of that degree is concerned most of them huh? one of the reason behind is the population as the population increase our needs are increases our needs are increases we need some vocational based trainings to the students so that they can do better for their family so it is again a big challenge for us. our university should adopt such type of certificate courses degree courses without certificates and it is open to all it should be open to all so that anybody come take admission for it have hands on training on particular course learn all those things and go back in the society to do something for his uh, bread and butter one of the important challenge in front of our country and the world wide is that we are losing our economy we are losing our economy so after covid 19 we should take care of our economy in our country in india what are the Indi- what are the energy sources we can adopt or generate apart from that one is solar system for that the university the institute ugc should make some provision for the projects for the fellowship to the students so that they can utilize their challenges to develop solar system we have to work hard to increase the efficiency of that solar cell from 20 to 25 25 to 30 like that if we are able to do that it will really be helpful for raising the economy of our country again one of the big challenges transportation we have roadways railways and airways in our country most of the transportation takes place through roadways so it will be hard to reach from one place to another place in short duration of time it required much more time if we increase our transportation by means of roadways by means of railways and airways we can do the things fast and it will have the connection between the states among one another whatever be the resources available in maharashtra that resources should be useful for the people of tripura and what are the resources available in assam that may be useful definitely be useful for the people of gujarat for example for that we have to increase the transportations again we think about the import and export facilities available we have to import very less thing from the countries and we have to export more and more to the other countries suppose from 1947 we are importing 100 atom 
from other countries and in 2020 if we are importing the same number of things from other country then what we achieve in last 70 year so we have to increase the export and we have to reduce the imports for that we have to make some provision by colleges institute university for the projects to the student so that more and more projects should be given to the student so can we can import uh, more and exp- we can import less and export uh, export more for the other people now one cannot say that the top such type of situation will not be repeated in future such type of situation may arise any time so one should be ready for such type of situations at the time of examination some students small students are were very happy that they don't have any examinations due to covid 19 they were very happy they know they don't know what what this covid 19 is but they were happy they don't have examination next year at the time of examination they may pray to god for the next virus <laughs> maybe just a joke so we all should do be ready we should all be ready to accept the challenges like covid 19 in future i hope you will take care of yourself your family your society your country and we'll do better for the mankind there are lot of challenges in front of you me and the world to overcome the situation in the field of economy in the field of society in the field of the good relation with one another i hope this time will pass soon and we will have we will be very we will be free from the pandemic very soon, inshallah thank you